Hey, what's up you guys? I just finished doing this dark feminine makeup look for fall. We switching it up. I'm gonna show you my fall outfit, my favorite fragrance for fall. So let's get into it. hot chocolate is so good oh my god damn all right so all right so this is the second time that i am filming this video and upload day is tomorrow yeah yesterday i'm filming this video i forgot to film an intro but while i was filming i was adjusting so i'm using my Giorgio armani concealer instead to like color correct i finished like around 11 11 30 at night this is on a tuesday i'm like i'm gonna film this i'm gonna edit it tomorrow in the morning and then i'll finish editing when i get home morning time comes i wake up and i go to finish uploading all the other videos on my laptop so that's done and i'm like okay now it's time to edit i start to transfer everything to imovie why the fuck is my face blurry and this little plant right here is the only thing that you see in focus and I'm praying to God that this isn't the case today. Like I'm about to move this bitch over because I thought that the quality was gonna get better, that it was finally gonna go into focus on my face and it never did. And mind you, I had work today, called out. Thank God for sick time. We are just getting ready for fall. I decided to do a dark feminine makeup look today, but I wanted to switch it up because it is fall time. So it's a new season, it's new weather, new fashion, makeup looks. To color correct, I've really been loving this Giorgio, this Giorgio Armani concealer. It's so freaking good. I got it in the shade 10, it's the Luminous Silk Concealer. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use my KVD found Good Apple Foundation in 1074. This is like my skin in a box. I said this in my um, KVD review. I freaking love this foundation. That review, it was my first impressions. But the more that I started wearing this, I'm like, yo, this foundation is freaking gorgeous. It's lightweight. It's mattifying, but not drying. It's good for combination to oily skin, but it also has skincare in it. I love that. I want to make a separate video on dark feminine, like just giving it a, a deeper dive. When it comes to dark feminine, I feel like if i talk about it and try to do the makeup tutorial it'll be too much i want you guys to focus on one thing give this video a thumbs up if you want me so this is my idea what i want to do finding your femininity and balancing your light and dark is really popular right now women are always trying to figure that out and trying to balance it out so what i want to do is i want to get a glass of red wine roll a little something while we sip and smoke and we talk about dark feminine energy if you have it if you don't how do you achieve it how do you balance your light and your dark dark feminine when it comes to anything when it comes to relationships when it comes to you being single when it comes to pleasing other people how to be magnetic give it a thumbs up if you want me to do that it's gonna be like a cute chill vibe and we're gonna sit back and we're gonna drink some wine we're gonna get a little high and yeah so let me know Moving on, I'm using my Hourglass Concealer. This is like one of my favorite concealers when it comes to full coverage and brightening the face. Yesterday, I did this makeup look a little differently, like the way, like the order that I did my makeup and I just can't get with the way these TikTokers do it. I don't like it. It comes out nice, but it just isn't satisfying to me. Like the way I do my makeup, I find it satisfying. You see how people put everything on their face? Like they, like they have the contour, the highlight, the blush. I just feel like it's too much. That is the true definition of trust the process. But it's so irritating because you just, you need to use so many different brushes. You have to be so precise with how and where you're blending the product so that you don't mix it. Because before I only tried to do the, um, you know when you do the blush first and then you do your highlight? My highlight turned pink. Like... I was not fucking with it and then the texture of the of the liquid blush mixing with my concealer i did not like that shit so i'm gonna just stick to the way that i do my makeup hold up i completely forgot did you guys hear meg the stallion's new song 
holy shit supposedly she came out with music like this where it's more on the serious side but i never i never heard them i saw a little clip online where she was coming out of a snake mouth but i didn't see the entire clip so it looked like she was coming out of a vagina and i was like oh my god what is this about to be i'm over here thinking you know it's gonna be the typical hot girl music i was on break when i watched that video when i tell you that shit gave me goosebumps i think this is by far my favorite meg the stallion song i probably should hear her her other music that's more on the serious side it's just that at first i guess when it came out i probably didn't give it a chance because um it was like the same flow the same style and sometimes i don't want to always listen to like turn up music hot girl music sometimes i want something meaningful something that i can relate to something that gives me goosebumps something that i can feel and she did that with this song her new song cobra oh my god like when she said yo i felt her so much when she said this shit when she said lord give me a break i don't know how much of this shit i can take oh my god i didn't know this about meg i didn't know that when you go to her page and you you could click any of her pictures yo dead ass and her comments are ridiculous to think that you feel some type of way about something and I'm not really gonna get involved in it because you just never fucking know. Nobody was there, there were no cameras there, so we don't fucking know. Anything that this girl posts, the, the world attacks her. They shit on her in her comments. I could only imagine the shit that I go through and when I try to post a selfie, when I'm feeling good, when I'm feeling confident and I take a picture and then I get, her, and then I get attacked like that on my page by people that I don't even know, that shit will drive me the fuck insane. Anytime any of these female rappers drop a song, I always think it's gonna be the same thing and most of the time it is the same thing. It's usually talking about being the baddest bitch having money having the biggest chain feeling your man your man want me fat ass a, a, a little ways big titty you know that shit took me she really went in this is a different side of her that i've never like seen or heard in my life and i fuck with it she's dead venting with her music and i feel that because it's like i'm not a rapper i'm not a singer but i am a content creator and i th this is my venting space this this is the shit that makes me feel better music is her thing thing and she said what the fuck she had to say in her music like these people literally tell a story through their music sometimes yes it may be a little bit exaggerative or whatever just to make the song better you can tell that shit came from the heart so that was my kosas powder i use a lot of powder under my eye i'm using the charlotte tilbury flawless powder in number two people been noticing that she disappeared for a little while and i felt like it was because of that i, f I, f I think it was because of the harassing and she just needed a break from everything it's like that's how i felt when i lost my loved one where i just need time for myself even though i'm yearning to hang out and chill with my friends and go to brunch go to dinner and have a couple drinks you know the thing with her comments right that happened because she was fucking upset she told the whole world on live that this person did this to her now there's just this narrative on like who's telling the truth nobody knows who's telling the truth and with this whole situation people are like oh you sent an innocent man to jail there's more important things how could you be posting this and you sent a man to jail um brother stay focused because she's this and this and this and type of person imagine if i was one of those people that will comment under a person's thing every fucking day like oh what are you doing you sent you sent an innocent man to jail when my brother got locked up right that would be fucked up right if i comment and troll your page every single time oh you sent oh all of y'all motherfuckers testified lied lied that would be fucked up if i do that right if i fucking harass you every day but no am i doing that no did i do that no and then it's like i'm starting to get fucking emotional and then it's like the shit that she's saying in her song right like she's been feeling a certain way she's been canceling her plans like she don't want to do a lot of shit like she's fucking depressed and i've been feeling the same i don't give a fuck if i sound like a bitch but the people that i don't fuck with no more the people that i stopped talking to the people that i cut off i don't give a fuck about your condolences I do not because you're a fake ass 
motherfucker yo y'all see me rise y'all see me do good y'all motherfuckers don't congratulate me y'all see me in a new happy relationship and y'all motherfuckers just want to tear it down y'all want to nitpick ass shit but it's like when y'all see me down when y'all see me crying when the universe takes the it takes a big ass chunk out of my heart while I feel like I'm up here, the universe humbles the fuck out of you and takes your loved one away and then these fake ass motherfuckers is gonna hit me up. It's like every time I try to vent about this person before I lost them on how much that I missed them. Every time I would try to vent to these people, to this circle of mine, to these friends of mine, they always brushed it off. They didn't really give a fuck, you know? It was just, all right, there's nothing you can do, move on. Fuck your feelings, right? But now that this person is fucking gone, and every, it's like, yo, it's literally like the outcast song. The whole world loves it when you sing the blues. The whole world loves it when you're in the news. They love to see negativity, and they do not give a fuck about you. If any of y'all motherfuckers is watching, do not just block me. Delete my number. The yo forget that I even exist, bro. I made it so perfectly clear that I don't want to fuck with these people. Made it perfectly clear that the reason why I'm moving the way that I am, it wasn't just sudden. It's just that you did something and I moved on from it and I cut you off. I'm gonna talk about one thing right here and I don't give a fuck if they see this shit, I'm over it. Like I honestly don't give a fuck. I had this client that I did a lot of favors for, went out of my way. And when I tell people, they be like, damn, you really do. But it's like, we had something, we had a little deal going on in the beginning, but it's like, that was it. The person started to take advantage of that. I go to do this last favor. If you don't know, I'm a freelance makeup artist. I go to travel. It's hard as fuck for me to find this shit. I did my job and I'm not even gonna go hard and describe anything because I don't wanna embarrass nobody. Long story short, every time I'm in the process of doing the makeup, I always let them check before I keep going. So what I mean by that is, I'll stop right here and I'll let you look at your skin. So I'll be like, do you want to add more blush? Do you want me to fade it out a little bit? Do you want me to add more contour? Or do you want me to just leave it like this? So I usually do that. And I do it one more time when I am done with the makeup look. I'm like, let me know. Let me know if you want me to fix anything, right? The person went to their event enjoyed their shit and all that and why at the end of the fucking day like the event is over bitch you're already home you probably washed off the makeup already why the fuck are you hitting me up telling me that you don't like something when I asked you two times, when I asked you two times, do you want me to change or fix or add anything? And the words that came out of your, your mouth was like, no, it's perfect. I never experienced some shit like that in my life as a freelance makeup artist. Never had a problem with someone. I'm over here doubting myself. I'm second guessing myself. I'm like, yo, like, did I really lose it? I started feeling insecure. I'm like, yo, like, this shit never happened to me before. Like, did I really do a bad job? My man is like, nah, bitch is capping. I don't think, like, you ain't lose nothing, Delilah. Like, you're very fucking talented. You've been doing this shit for mad fucking years. You know what you're doing. You did not fuck up anything. Me staying calm during text, but like inside I have anxiety. I'm like, okay, so since this never happened to me before, what do you want then? You're telling me this, you're giving me a complaint, but it's like, for what? And I'm like, do you just want your money back? Cause I was over it already. I'm like, you're complaining to me about some shit that you didn't have a problem with earlier. So I'm like, so you want your money back? They're like, no, 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 I don't want that. So what? So what do you want me to do? Oh no, it was, it was just this and this and this and that. And I'm just like, yo, what's your cash? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna send you your money because I never dealt with this shit in my life and it was just getting annoying already. It's like, I was like, yo, what's your thing? So I can send you your money. They were like, no, 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 no. After a while, they go, oh, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I didn't like this and this and this. Can I get this much back? And it's like, see, when people do dumb shit like that to me, it's like, all right, you're cut off now. Because at the end of the day, you could have been real honest with me and just be like, yo, I didn't have enough for this and this and that. 
you don't like once you pay for something you are not asking for a refund you're not asking for a refund stop that shit is corny if i go somewhere and i don't like something i'm gonna tell them right then and there i don't like it like fix it for me but no you're gonna ask for money and i was telling my boyfriend the whole situation because i ain't want to be like i don't i don't want to be too specific about it if i would explain to y'all the situation you will understand that it wasn't me because he was like i feel like because of the situation they were in they needed that they didn't have enough for you so they needed some money back and the reason why i'm saying this story is because this person is still under my comments shortly after you hitting me up do you really think that i'm gonna take you as a client again after doing that i don't care if it was one time you're not my family member you're not my best friend i guess common sense ain't that motherfucking common nowadays like you really like you really thought like you like you was just gonna keep using me type shit because what they did was use me that sets her face We're moving on to eyes now. I'm only gonna use one color in my Anastasia Novo palette, but the rest of the shadows, I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3. I'm gonna start out with the darkest brown right here. So any of my followers or anyone watching right now watch Baddies, you know, that show on Zeus? Comment down below if you do. Let's talk about it. Baddies is the new and improved um, Bad Girls Club. The bitch that runs LA, Natalie Nunn, she is the creator or producer, whatever the fuck, of the baddies. So this season, I was a little bit like, eh, because I'm not gonna lie, when I first started watching Baddies, Krishan made the show what it was. She made it entertaining. She didn't held back her fists for nothing. If anybody said anything crazy to her, the bitch wasn't even talking. She just straight up swinging. She was pregnant in this season, so she really couldn't do much. But I want to talk about the latest episode that came out, and I did not like it. I didn't like the vibes. It was really, really weird. I felt bad for T. I feel bad when it comes to her being on the show because I just feel like this show isn't for her. For example, you see how a lot of people was like, what Ruby Rose is doing on Baddies, you know, when she was doing the auditions. Like Ruby Rose, she's like a delicate, really pretty girl. She's a bad bitch. And it's like, bad bitches aren't really into fighting <laughs> because we want to stay looking pretty. And it's like, bad bitches usually get, get along with a lot of people. I honestly don't think the reason why they did what they did was because she was just pretty like that was her main argument it was just because she was pretty it's just that no she's in a setting that she's not used to if you're in an uncomfortable place like you're gonna see it like and if somebody's looking at you like they're gonna see it in your face that you're uncomfortable and that was the vibe that scotty was giving i mean scotty that was the energy that he was giving when they went to the to the go-kart racing and on top of that she said that she was sick i did not like that they all one by one went to go fuck her up like i find it corny that it's only to certain people that they do this with when krishan's sister was in the room when scarface walked in she didn't do anything to Siki, to Seki, I think it's to Seki. To Seki, she's looking at her the whole time. She's looking at her the whole time and Scarface not doing nothing. T was looking at Scarface, I think, the whole time, but supposedly she said that she was looking at Roly. This bitch, uh, Scarface just ran up on T like if she's Krishan. But it's funny because Scarface was acting like a pussy during auditions when she was apologizing to Krishan. She don't want smoke with them. With, with, with those two siblings, I can honestly say that she is terrified of them. They be leaving knots on bitch's head. She don't want Tiseki to teach her. T came off a little loud when it came to these girls. And it's like, I don't think she understood that you have to watch your energy, the way you speak, your tone, the way you look at people in that show because anything could just go up right then and there. It's like 50-50. And then I saw that on her YouTube channel, she was talking about the reason why her and Scotty don't get along is because Scotty's man wanted smash her and then oh my god let's talk about scotty 
I have a little bit of respect for her because she did stand up for herself. Natalie hit her last season and she didn't do nothing. Like she kept pushing her. And it's like the whole time I was watching it, I'm just like, Scotty, do something. And it's like, I don't know if like producers was telling her not to touch her or if you do, you're gonna get off the show. But it's like, come on, Camila whipped Natalie's ass too. So it's like, come on, you could have defended yourself. Oh, I'm using this glitter from Give. It's called Twinkle. It's so freaking pretty. She stood up to herself in this season but she still got her ass whooped by Anna Mac. I don't really know how I feel about Anna Mac because it's like Scotty confronted her and it's like why like why were you like if you're trying to get on the show and stuff why are you talking shit about Scotty online I just didn't really get that and I didn't understand the beef like there was no background it was just really random and it's like the more that I watched T's um, YouTube and her just spilling shit the show isn't uh, scripted but what she was saying is that like production one of them would like pull one of the girls to the side and be like hey say this or start this fight start this argument say this about this person so that you know she could get riled up and they could get entertaining but it's like deep down if they didn't do none of that shit like the show would probably be mad calm and bitches will get along so i feel like there is a little bit of acting skill in there so it's like, it's like Scotty has so many opportunities to put hands on T, especially when they were on the bus. Like bitch was yelling at her like a little kid. And that's something that T needs to understand too, because it's like, yeah, you could be yourself. Your tone is your tone. But it's like, if you're going to be in that type of setting, be prepared, be mindful that you may get jumped in a few days just because of the way you spoke to the person. And look what the fuck happened. I felt like, I feel like she's kind of shy when it comes to like getting like like fighting and stuff and her being in the spotlight when it comes to fighting so i feel like that's why she waited for everybody to like hit her so she's like okay since scarface hit this bitch i'm gonna hit her neck it's i don't know it's just so weird like she has so many opportunities that she could do it on her own where t like disrespected her in her face so that's why i don't really like right now i don't really like scotty like that because it's like bitch hold your own it's all right, so eyeshadow is done. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do a big wing, some lashes, and then I'm gonna show you guys the lip, and then we're gonna move on to doing our hair, and I'm gonna show you my outfit too. So I need to hurry up and show you guys this lip combo because my camera's running out of storage. First, I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick in Underdog, the really deep burgundy color. I'm gonna let you know right now, this is a hell of a lip combo I'm gonna do because I lost the lipstick that I was originally gonna put on. So I'm trying to recreate it. I'm taking my Rare Beauty lipstick in fun. Trust the process. Then I'm gonna go in with a red liquid lip from Urban Decay. This is called Unbreakable. Take a dark brown liner, blot your lips, go in with Morphe Vibes. So this is going to be like your medium tone brown that you're going to blend out the dark liner with and you're going to put a little bit of that brown. You're going to fill your lip with the lip liner like that and then go back in to make it a little bit more red and then blot your lips again. There we go. So see, this is the lip that I wanted to go for so that you won't have to go through this. Just go, just go to Sephora, go to the Charlotte Tilbury counter, get yourself a walk of shame and buy yourself a dark brown liner because it's not like I'm tired of the bold reds, of the bold burgundy. I like, a, I like to switch it up. Like walk of shame is like a, I don't know how to explain it but it's like a red with a tone of brown it just looks so freaking pretty so now i'm already dressed i just need to put my shoes on and the outfit is it me or fall just i felt 
feel like when October hit, I couldn't do anything for fall. Like once October hit, I was like, oh my God, it's fall time. Because my birthday is in the end of September. So I just kept thinking about that. I kind of forget, I kind of forgot about fall time. As soon as it hit October, I'm like, oh my God, we should like, like telling my boyfriend and stuff. I'm like, oh my God, we should go pumpkin patching and do like some really cool fun activities. I don't know, it's like every time we try to do something, cause it's like he works full time and I consider myself full time like i am a part-time partial worker but i also uh, but i also get work done here like i'm always editing i'm always thinking about other content to do i just feel like we haven't found the time to do it and then it's like every fucking saturday it's raining there's a storm outside every time and it's so annoying it's so fucking annoying. Bills are in the way when you are trying to do something. You're like, fuck, I gotta pay for this so we can't go this time. And it's it's just it's just getting fucking annoying. Like how fast oh my god daylight saving is here already so the days are a lot shorter this is getting fucking annoying fucking sucks like why is this oh Ugh. I'm going through it. Hold on. <laughs> So right now I'm watching um, Behind the Light podcast. If you don't watch it, it's with Winter and Shy. Winter, I'm sorry to say this, but I know she doesn't like to be associated with that, but she used to be on the Bad Girls Club. Like I didn't know her. I don't know her, but you know. I didn't know her from Bad Girls Club. I just knew her from straight up YouTube. Like I saw one of her videos popped up and I think it was her talking about her experience at the bad girls club and i never seen like any of the bad girls club do a youtube video and actually talk about it because i used to watch that show all the time like when i was younger the girls go through a lot of shit like they're always arguing it's very it's, it's very toxic and it fucks with your mentals it was the first time that i saw that video and i grew a liking to her because she was giving like authentic in a way like yeah she has her money she likes a luxury lifestyle she has a beautiful body and all this stuff but it's like she didn't give off a fake vibe to me and that's i don't know i just i like who she is i think she's pretty cool so right now i'm watching it while i do my hair and they have tea from baddies on the podcast but i just want to ask did you guys see so winter she posted on her Twitter. She wrote something about Ice Spice, basically saying that ever since Ice Spice got signed with Nicki Minaj, that she's been quiet. I miss her, lol. When I saw her response to what Winter said, I was like, huh? Like, what was it that she said here so bad that Ice Spice had to come at Winter like that? So yeah, so she did end up talking about it on the podcast. And it's just, it's just so, like, I didn't like <laughs> I didn't like Ice Spice's comment because I felt like the comment wasn't that bad. Like she didn't curse, she didn't call her a bitch, like she, you know? Because people could take things the wrong way and on top of that is like, it's through a message. So it's like, you don't hear their tone and on top of that she put a LOL. So I do get where she's coming from but it's like, damn, like, Ice Spice said, oh you, oh you no career having ass bitch, like, like just coming for her. And then I'm like, damn just because she's not a rapper makes her a fucking loser like it's like why the fuck does that make her a loser does it make me a loser that i'm a content creator i have a regular job too i'm a freelance makeup artist that makes me a nobody that makes me unsuccessful like it's really fucked up to say some shit like that and then under the comments people were like winter who who the fuck is that if she's a nobody what the fuck does that make me so i'm gonna finish the rest of this hair and i'm gonna show you my outfit and what fragrance i'm wearing this is the fall fragrance that i'm going with it's Giorgio armani my way it's very soft elegant but very warm as well mm, i love that it gives something about this scent like it's very magnetic it's clean warm cozy uh smells so freaking good and seductive but it just doesn't give too much overpowering 
Now I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I have on this jumpsuit from Amazon. It's super cute. I'll leave it in my Amazon storefront down below. So I'm wearing this cute jumpsuit from Amazon. And this is how it looks in the back. Since it's getting a little chilly, I'm going to put a cute scarf on. I think I got this one from Urban Outfitters. I was looking for my gray scarf that would have went perfect with this outfit. Everything that I have on is kind of like a shade of gray. I'm going to show you the shoes in a second. So if it does get a little cold, you know, I'm going to put my scarf on. Since it's just a casual, like, fall day, my bag is going to be my tote bag from Marc Jacobs. And then since it is daylight saving time and the sun is going down a lot faster, I got these cute shades from Amazon. Super, super cute if the sun gets in your eye when you're driving. Super cute, super cute. These are the shoes right here. The slouchy, scrunchy heels. I got them from Zara. I am totally obsessed with them. I'm about to head out and enjoy the season. I'm gonna ask my boyfriend to get me a pumpkin spice latte while we out running errands. And I'll see you guys later.